A long run actually is crucial for me. It's, uh, it makes my body to, to conduce itself for running for a long time. It tells my mind and my body that uh, you need to run, to run that long. The more I do the long run, the more my body actually responds to running for a very long time and performing in areas. This is what champions are made of, man. Yeah, we will think like even the day before he is like uh, it's, it's gonna rain tonight. So we will go. We will ask the elderly at least like they will check. Oh, maybe small rain. It comes from that side. That route will not go. We will go maybe that route. So we are late, the, the whole afternoon we are discussing about you know where we will go tomorrow. But actually, I think it's more that you are a little bit nervous. But I think on healthy way. You are like excited to, to see what can I run tomorrow. And it's also a very good test. Even everyone's like 8.30, it's so silent. Everyone's on bed. It's like, and normally you see like at nine, people are still chatting outside and lights are on. You will see like people are sleeping so early and uh, preparing themselves and yeah. A marathon is basically 95. 90 to 95 percent mileage of which if you don't do it then uh, the chances that you are going to perform is less likely uh, that's why you find some athletes who is less prepared when he or she reaches around 35 to 40 that's when uh, he faces some kind of problems or challenges it is because he or she hasn't locked in mileage and imagine Let's say I wake up like 5.40 in the morning. I'm running 4.00, the first K, at 6.10. So less than 25 minutes when I woke up, and when we start running, it's like you just take banana, some water, you change, you go outside, it's still dark, and boom. First thing, what I'm thinking about is uh, on how my movement is and uh, how my body is uh, reacting when it's uh, down the hill and when it is up the hill and towards the hand, how will it be? 30 k most of the time, coach is not around. We just start by our own, it's almost like 70 people. And that one is actually, you know, you just go. If someone decides to open the first, first kilometer in 400 or three, Zero, zero, it's up to you. Someone will feel good today or strong or have a race soon or is nervous or whatever, and he will push, and most people will go with him. So sometimes in the beginning, I was really like, oh, it's like, why? Why are we doing control the long runs? But I think it was a good thing for, um, for your mental training also, because in a race, you also you don't control. You're running with an athlete who's training now in Ethiopia, an athlete who's training in America, an athlete who's training in Europe, and then you'll come together in a race can't tell them like hey let's run today at this pace so you have to deal with that moment but we have really some crazy athletes who will do like 300 255 the third kilometer and it's still dark and then you sometimes am I, am I dreaming you know it's like me in the forest you like you're just sleeping and now you're running like chasing and why are you going so fast if you let them go too far you run along the whole long run So when I do the, the 25k long run, um, it gets very close to the race pace. Uh, we like to do it progressive. So we start uh, slower, like around three, let's say 320 pace, and we try to go up to 255 pace, which is uh, very close to the half marathon pace. And uh, when we go for longer runs, uh, like 35 or 40, uh, we maintain uh, like a good pace, which is like maybe 330, 335, um, but it's still far from the race pace. And we try to do it on a hilly course so that it, it gives us some more challenge. <laughs> the 40 kilometer, everyone is of course nervous of the distance, so we always start a little bit cool. 
but most of the time coach is around and, and he controls always. He's like, don't kill yourself in 40 kilometers. So that's a difference. So 30K is actually always surviving mood and 40 kilometers is like, uh, let's finish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know. We profile all our athletes, we set targets where they, they know they can easily achieve. Those targets determine also how they are positioned in training. When they're going for a long run, if the goal for that session, which calls for mostly 70% at the, at the high, so your percentage effort should be between 60 and 70%. But once the athlete internalizes that um, my percentage effort of 60 to 70% in this long run, it feels like this. Then they should be able to run through at, at that percentage effort to the end or, or the training session. Of course, we have to be a bit careful because you're talking about the altitude of sometimes 2,500 to 2,700. So you have to, to, to be careful in how do you run those runs. Uh, balls are very important. If you don't do speed, you cannot uh, run good run at marathon. If you don't do uh, uh, long runs, you, only with speed workouts, you cannot cover the marathon. Uh, so, balls are combination very important, you know. It's helping each other, so it's uh, interconnected. Ah, uh, we have different places, you know, Addis, if you see Addis, you know, all around the, there is forest and uh, really beautiful uh, surrounding, you know, ar around Addis Ababa. Uh, there is different, you know, five, six way out, you know, from Addis. Very beautiful uh, landscaping and uh, a great place to train. So I can, we can choose uh, most of the time, you know, like uh, lower uh, altitude area to run maybe long or to maintain, you know, good, good speed. You don't need to maybe stay at uh, really high, high altitude, uh, maybe long runs, just sometimes uh, lowest area to maintain the speed and also cardio. Actually, you know, it's the distance what you, you run, what matters. For the marathon, I mean, if you run a marathon, of course you have to do at, at least the same distance. Because you, you're practicing, you, you, you let know your body is knowing. So that's why athletes has to do at least the same speed, you know, once, once in a certain time. Uh, if you don't have any adaptation, it's not possible to run for marathon. You know, for long distance like 42 kilometer, 40 kilometer, it, it's uh, you do like this kind of endurance training. It's easy to for marathon for competition because marathon for starting after 30 kilometer. So for one marathon, all athletes are doing for two times uh, 40 kilometer or 42 kilometer in the road or the forest. If you have good endurance in your body, it's marathon is easy. Most of the time we share information, it's like if the leading group to go too fast, example, you tell them that they are going too fast. If they go too slow, you tell them they have to go too slow. Uh, when they are doing great, you try to motivate them, uh, keep going, it's great, uh, you're doing well. and um, Yeah, some kind of conversation like that, but uh, there is not other uh, conversation. At the start we really talk and choke around, but inside the long run we 
just talking a little bit, but uh, most of the time it's actually to, to really concentrate on, on yourself, really concentrate on the, on the long run. You know, if you talk too much, then you can lose concentration. And, and, and we train ourselves to, to, to be silent, like the way we are actually running the, the race itself. It is uh, some discussions, sometimes more than others. Um, especially when, when we go for the 35 or 40k, uh, we try to really control the pace. So if the guys start pushing, I tell them, no, it's, it's not the goal today. The goal is just to go for the distance. Yeah, but in 25k, I let them more like free. Um, I let them push, I let myself also push. Uh, if somebody is dropping and we see is it's almost the end, we try to uh, encourage him. Yeah, there's a good, good team spirit during the long runs. I really believe in teamwork because uh, you, 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 need, you need support, you know. At one point or in life, you cannot succeed alone. There should be somebody who really upholds you. So you need, you need somebody to support you, you need somebody to help you in training because you cannot do it alone. They are helping me train together and of course support me in training you know, push together, you know, you know, it's a, about teamwork, so that's really one amazing thing about uh, my training group. It's a tough kind of uh, thing, but of course I know all things are possible. They've incorporated the concept of teamwork in their training and they know the benefits they gain. So they, they position themselves naturally. You don't have to organize them anymore as a coach. The athletes that we who are close. They always know the pot potential of each, each one of them. When somebody goes beyond, especially when they know themselves, they always have a system of recalling and, and, and san sanctioning one another. So that at least, you know, it's, it's a, the, the ideal situation for being in a t group setting is to, to have maximum benefits of being in a group. And uh, they, they have uh, internal reinforcement so, so that all athletes don't waste themselves, but at the end of the day, uh, maximize the benefits of being in a team setting. Uh, we, we don't actually discuss who is in front, who is at the back. If somebody is spitting too much, uh, you, you feel it's crucial to actually give an advice to him, then you do it. Everybody is free. Uh, in long runs, we, we, we don't have captains, we don't have uh, bosses, but we have leaders and we expect everybody to be a leader in his own capacity and to be actually uh, in charge of the long run. So we, we, we don't train people to perform or to finish long runs, but we train people uh, to be human beings when they are running long runs. If somebody gets crazy, then uh, the whole team try to, to advise him or try to tell him that it's too fast and uh, it's better to keep a certain pace so that we can finish together. Otherwise, if you go very fast, then the chances that the, the entire team will pass you midway or towards the end of the, of the session is high. There is always a competition even in training and uh, that's what we are trying to control and it's not easy because we are all competitors and uh, but we must uh, remind ourselves that the competition should stay for the competition. But I think sometimes it's good to have a bit of competition in training and that will push us to go next level but not every, every day, <laughs> not every day. I mean, at least in my case, I use um, uh, what I call coach's high. It's a special high that you use as a coach when, at least at training, you have that uh, specific concentration to see, is this athlete putting in the necessary effort? Is he overdoing it? We normally take after each and every five kilometers. And we are doing so because uh, in a real race, that's what's happening. After each and every five kilometers, we take fluids in a race. So we are trying to mimic or trying to prepare in such a way that during the race day, you know that this is what I've been doing and it becomes easier because it's something that you've been going through each and every time. Sometimes it's foggy, so running inside the foggy is sometimes fun. 
because when you are maybe when you are running uh, happy you, you 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 don't see it so you are just running and then all of a sudden you are you are, you are past the, the hill. Rain actually affects most of our long runs, but all in all is that uh, even if it's raining we, do, we, are, we are doing it because it's a program we need to do it and, and we believe by doing it in a, in a, in a challenging way is the only way to, to actually survive in sport. If you look at a uh, long run it can be hard sometimes uh, because it's the end of the week and uh, seven, uh, six day, day in, day out, and then the, the last day, Sunday. We, most of the time we do our long run Sunday. And then if you train from Monday until Saturday, hard training, and Sunday sometimes you can feel tired. But um, the other side is uh, you, you don't have that lactic feeling like on the track. So um, especially if your endurance is good, um, the long run will be always good. You are in full concentration because you know why you are here. And there's nothing much to do here. And uh, so if you don't do your job well, it's like why, why you are here then? Why you are suffering or you know, doing all these things then? Everything that we are doing uh, uh, in training, it's part of what you want to be. Because we have come here with one purpose. Uh, we left everything behind. It's only that to think about uh, what we came here and to work for what we came here. It means really a lot uh, to me as a part of training. When you do a, a long run 40 kilometers, that gives you a, a, a motivation and gives you a self-belief that you can do it in, in a marathon. Uh, I can say long run is like life because you are going up town, feeling having a lot of challenges. But when you finish it, you can actually be happy. The atmosphere is really on high, high note. We respect each other. Nobody is uh, big, nobody is small. We are all human beings. We all come, our aim is to achieve. Our aim is actually to perform. Our aim is to have a call wherever you can perform perfectly. But above all is that uh, we are building human beings to perform, to achieve, and of course. Uh, People already remembering, you know, people who know the sports, how, how it is, you know. I'm sure everyone uh, tried sometimes the sport, they know how hard it is, and uh, they feel it. <laughs>